Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for coming. Can I? You already did it, but let's do it again. Give all of our TK students a big round of applause. don't know me, I am Matt Margera, I am the drama teacher here at Tapscott, and we are, we've been working really hard, am I right? Been working really hard on our TK play, and it is based on a book called Gaston by, I want to make sure I get this pronunciation right, Kelly DiPuccio, and illustrations by Christian Robinson, and they've been enjoying this in class, and we turned it into a play. Um, this has been a lot of fun, it's been a lot of work that they've done, and none of it could happen without some people I, I just want to thank publicly. So thank you to Kisei because she, she does things in supportive ways that no one ever knows about, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> so give Kisei the credit. So you'll notice that our amazing librarian Thomas is sitting here ready to read because he's our narrator for RTK Play, and the partnership with Thomas has been incredible, so please give him a And literally none of this would have happened without Aurora and Wendy. amazing people and I'm so happy I work with you and special thanks to Emily for recording this for us so that anyone who didn't miss it today will be able will be able to see it well I think TK y'all ready without further ado I proudly present the TK play Gaston Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies. Beefy, Foo Foo, Chow Chow, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so too. The puppies grew as puppies do. Four were no bigger than teacups. The fifth, however, continued to grow and grow until it was the size of a teapot. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper poodles. They were taught to sip. Never swallow. Beefy. Good. Uh, Fufu, well done. Chow Chow, wonderful. Ooh la la, very nice. Gaston, mm, nice try. <laughs> they were taught to yip. Never yap. And they were taught to walk with grace. Never <laughs> the puppies were also taught how to look pretty and pink, nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. <laughs> Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies. Fifi, Foo Foo, Chow Chow, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Spring arrived and the proud mother was eager to show them off. She took them to the park. <laughs> For their very first public, first role in public, there was so much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, dogs. Oh dear. 
who who do we have here? Good morning, Mr. Bulldog. And Mr. Bulldog's pups, Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, Hugo, and Antoinette. <laughs> well, this was more than a little, a little awkward. The parents sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. Everyone was confused. Huh? It seems we've made a terrible mistake. We, we, I agree. <laughs> Mr. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. They decided to let the two pups decide. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix-up. Finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There, that looked right. But it did right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new siblings, but she did not like anything proper or precious. On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new siblings, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny. <laughs> the next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. <laughs> Mr. Bulldog was already there waiting with his burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake. We, oui, we, oui, I agree. <laughs> Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. <laughs> there, that looked right. And it's all right, too! From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, Hugo, and Antoinette taught the poodles a thing or two about being tough. <laughs> Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, Chow Chow, Ooh La La, and Gaston taught the bulldogs a thing or two about being tender. <laughs> Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own. They taught them to be